Now, tell us, what does, and you look very lovely, by the way. Thank you, you know, so much. <laughs> so what does it mean to wear the crown and to have the sash? Well, it's something else, I'm telling you, because mm. we models, all, even all the models I can see, when you are in a pageant mm -hmm. and uh, you don't get that crown, yes, you'll be recognized, because we are, we are, there's a certificate for participation and also the sash and the crown, when you get these three things, it's one of the best things because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you are recognized by even the community. But one thing I understand in our country, they, they, are, they are not into that, like modeling, it's not into too much because you, you get some small organization, they are not known that much. I was watching uh, South Africa Miss Humanity 2022. Her name is Davi. Mm -hmm. And when she was coming back home, I could see the community. There, were, there was even like a, a welcoming back home mm -hmm. whereby they value modeling in their country so much. So in our country, you're uh, saying we have not uh, 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 we yeah. don't have, mm. we have not put value in the modeling industry. Yes, yes, that's what I can say because out there, there are so many girls who are, who are so talented in such, and maybe they don't even have a way out to show themselves out there, mm -hmm. or maybe to just be in big pageant, or maybe in organization, but at least they are trying, and uh, they, it's a big challenge whereby you want to do something and you, you don't have the support. I can say that we, mm -hmm. they, they don't support us so much, as mm -hmm. they say, because I remember one day someone came to me and they told me that modeling, what is modeling? They thought it's just catwalking. Mm -hmm. But no, there's so much in it because you have to also give back to the society. Like I remember in this year, in, I think it was in May or April, June in between, mm -hmm. we went to Mukuru Kwanjenga mm -hmm. and we gave some food. We weren't able to give so much, but at least we did something. And of course, you understand the economies, the, the way it is mm -hmm. right now. People, some people are not even able to raise funds to buy even full. Even to get that one meal a day, it's not even possible. So we were able to give some food to some people, and it was just amazing. I'm so grateful because I had some people who are very supportive. They gave their money for us to go and buy those food, and that was very beautiful. So. Coming back to us winning the sash and the crown is something very beautiful. Like, it's something amazing because when you are on the runway and you don't get it, people cry. I'm telling yeah, you that. Yeah, I know the emotion that I People, that people ex even, I remember you see when people walking out, they don't even care who win. It's mm. so emotional because it's something that it's valued. You've invested in. You, are inv you invest in it because also, like, uh, during the competition, there are clothes. You buy for yourself their shoes, and it's not just a shoe because you'll have to get a six inch sure. or, or five inch or seven inch, whereby you don't get them so easily. You mm -hmm. have to work hard for them. And, and it's not easy to walk in. Mm. It's not I, easy. I could not it's make not it in Madley. <laughs> Yeah, you should try. It's not easy <laughs> to walk in six inch, yeah? Sure. Mm -hmm. So uh, at some point, it's, it's, it's so, you, you have to do so much mm -hmm. in it. And at the end of the day, if you don't get anything in return, it's so annoying. Yeah. It's, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. But at the end of the day, if, you are, if you, you, are, you, are, you are passionate about it or you believe in yourself, you just work hard for it. You work hard for you it. Work for, because okay. I remember if I was, I was a, that person wanted to give up, I would have given up a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Because for all those years, the only time I had to get a chance to have a title was last year, 2021. And I've been modeling. I'm, on, I'm never even near top 10. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you keep pushing because you know what you want. Mm -hmm. Here I am. I'm just so grateful. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. And we wish you all the best because I understand that you're going to represent us in Nigeria come October, right? Yeah. And we wish you the best. Represent you us so uh, to your, you know, the yeah. best of your ability and we know that it's going to be great. All right. And now, what does the title Miss Humanity hold? What does it stand for? We have heard of Miss World. We have heard of Miss Tourism. What does Miss Humanity stand for? Because it's not uh, mm. a very known. Yeah. So for Miss Humanity, it's for 
it's just like being a person with a heart of humor. Because when you don't have a great heart, or maybe you're not uh, easy to go, or maybe you're not even social to people, everyone will be like, I don't want to associate with that person. Mm -hmm. But when you have a heart of humor, you'll be a person, it's a way of helping one another, or it's mm -hmm. a way of being on the lookout. Um, um, like, I, I have to be on the lookout and see, maybe these people need something, and I have to be the first person to be of help. Okay. People who have to be on the lookout on me, I have to be like their role model, mm -hmm. especially in my community or where I live, they have to be looking me at me like their role model. Mm -hmm. So that is what it uh, holds. And it's, it's a very big title though. Yeah. And you have to do a lot. You have to be on your toes. <laughs> like people are just looking up, up on me. I'm like, oh God, how I much, have to do this. You know, how much does it take uh, for you? Is it, too, is it too much pressure, you know, holding that title and the expectations that people have on you? Yes, it is. It is too much. And especially if you don't have the funds, because be, uh, you have to do so many things and you have to invest in it. Mm -hmm. So you have to work so hard for it, for you to be where you are right now. Okay. You get me? Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to give so much. Some people expect a lot and maybe you're not even able to deliver that. But I'm trying my best as much as I can. Okay. Yeah. And that there, uh, so once you get the title, there's no funding that you're given to support uh, your mission or your agenda to the people? You don't get any, any financial support? Oh, for this one, actually, as some, when there, are, there are different crowns of titles that you get and you, you are funded. Mm -hmm. But for this one, we, we, the reason we, we did the, the Miss Humanity and the Miss Africa Unite, we were just talking about peace during, uh, before the election, that is. It was all about peace. Mm -hmm. And just one person, he came and organized this event and decided to give the ladies an opportunity to showcase, to showcase what they have. And uh, uh, the, the person at happened to have connection in different countries because we actually were three of us who won. But uh, for the Miss Africa, there was Miss Africa United, the, now the queen. Mm -hmm. She won, she was supposed to go to Botswana. Mm -hmm. uh, she's supposed to go in November. And then there was another one who was also supposed to go to Nigeria. But at the end of the day, we were not being sponsored. We were sponsoring ourselves. Whereby, like, the flight ticket and everything, whatever they... Because, like, the competition ahead of me, there's so much requirements. Mm -hmm. Whereby, it's all me. I don't have, like, a sponsor or anyone who is doing this for me. So I'm mm -hmm. um, on the lookout whereby I can get sponsorship or maybe an organization that can sponsor me in France, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, because it's a lot inquired. But the good thing is that once I go there, they, they have catered for the accommodation. And that is the most stressing part of it. Because imagine just going to a different country. country you're a foreigner mm -hmm. whereby you don't even know where to stay. You're not even familiar with that place. But the good thing is that once I get there, everything is on them. But before I leave, everything is on me. So whereby I'm on the lookout if I can get an organization, people who can support or be willing to do mm -hmm. this. So it, it's not an easy thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's too much pressure, I can tell you, right now. Okay. Um, and how are you managing? What keeps you going on? Or why do you want to hold the title Miss Humanity Africa, representing the whole of Africa? Because I'm always so passionate. I'm passionate about modeling so much. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I wouldn't want to lose this opportunity. They say an opportunity comes once in a lifetime. And if it's gone, it's gone. It won't come back. And I will be so proud seeing myself in that stage, holding my, my flag, my, the Kenyan flag, mm -hmm. higher, and representing my country. I'll be so honored to do that. Wow. Because I would not imagine that I will not go. You know, that mm. is a, a really bad feeling. You're so excited about something and then it doesn't happen. I'm not sure. I, I hope it won't get to that point. Mm -hmm. And I pray God that everything will come to pass as it is planned. Okay. So yeah. what impact do you want to achieve after your tenure as the Miss Humanity Kenya? And if you get, uh, you know, the title, hopefully that you will, you yeah. know, because we are behind <laughs> you, Miss Humanity yeah. Africa. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you, what are your aspirations to the people? What do you hope to impact at the end of it that people will remember you with? Well, once I, I win this title, because it's a big one, as I come back, mm -hmm. 
I want to start something very special, an organization whereby I want to get to help the children, mostly those who don't have families or those who don't have uh, mothers or anyone who is on the lookout. I would mm -hmm. want to build a, a, a home for them. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was growing up, I grew up alone. I grew up as an orphan, whereby it was not that easy for me. And I remember several times I even tried suicidal. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I had to be strong for myself because I wanted to be someone in the future. And I've been on the lookout. I see so many people out there, so many children. They don't even have homes. I remember at some point, I didn't even have a home. I didn't even have a place I can stay. But today, I have a place I call my, my, my home. Mm -hmm. I have a place whereby I can go and stay. This is my place. And I'm so grateful. And out there, I've been seeing so many children. They don't even have food. They lack so many things. I, I'm not even able to do that. At some point, I would just walk on the streets of Nairobi and I watch the things they do or the way they live. Like this morning when I was coming, I just saw a, a very young lady mm -hmm. with a, a small baby. She's just sleeping on the streets mm -hmm. with a blanket and it's very cold. Mm -hmm. And then I would just imagine in myself or in my heart, what, what, what did she went through all the whole night? What was happening? What was in her mind? Mm -hmm. It is so emotional. And I would wish to, to, to have such a home whereby I can hold so many children, whereby they just come, they eat this food, this everything for them. That wow. is my plan, that is my future plan. And even if I don't win, mm -hmm. I'll still do something like that. Wow. Because I'm, I'm so passionate about helping people, but I'm not even able to do so. But the little I can, I do. Amazing, yeah. and you truly deserve the title of Miss Humanity <laughs> because we can see the passion behind you know you speaking yeah. to helping the needy and the orphans, those that are in the streets, yeah. and it's a reflection of what you've been through in yeah. your own mm -hmm. life, being mm -hmm. an orphan. Yeah. So would you th would you say that um, your past, your background, was instrumental to who you are now? Yes, it is because. Um, when I look at so many girls out there, or when I look at myself, mm -hmm. at some point or as, at some, so many times, I felt like giving up with everything. Mm -hmm. Whereby you wake up in one day and you feel like, you don't wanna feel like you want to go on with everything. You feel like you cannot even do this because you, there is no one to even uh, be there for you. Uh, like when it comes, uh, maybe I don't know whether I should talk about this. Yeah, please feel <laughs> but free to share When it comes to menstruation, all mm. we girls, and you want to, we are, we are always so scared about it the first time. Mm -hmm. And you, ha you, you wish to have someone you can share it with. Mm -hmm. And I remember the first time, I didn't even have anyone. I didn't even have anyone to buy me sanitary showers. Mm -hmm. It was just myself. And I remember I used something that I wouldn't want to, stay, to say on air, whereby it was, it was very sad. Okay. And uh, I would encourage myself always, because where I am today, if I sit down with you and give you my story, you'll be amazed. It'll be one day, one day to happen. Okay. And it's something very emotional, whereby you're just all alone. You, you, you need to be loved as a person, or as a young girl, a child, and yeah. as a child, mm -hmm. that is. And I remember me when I was growing up, I didn't have that. I didn't experience that, the love of a parent, mm -hmm. because there was none. And today, when I see people loving me or appreciate me, that, is, that means the whole world to me. Wow. It may be simple, it may be just anything. But to me, at the end of the day, it's something very entitled. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Looking back to your story again, yeah. when you were maybe 15, what are you most proud of looking at where you are now? Wow, when I was 15, what was I even What are doing? you most proud of, no, uh, uh, you know, about your journey? Yeah. I'm proud of being strong. Wow. I'm proud of mm -hmm. being a strong woman because I, I know if, if I, I, get, I tell you whatever happened back in the days, mm -hmm. you would give up. You wouldn't even want to move on mm -hmm. because it's so scary. But today, I stand here, or I sit here before you, or before these cameras, 
saying to myself or telling that lady or that young woman who want to give up in life, mm -hmm. don't. Don't give up in Don't life. give up. Keep pushing on because ahead of you, there's some, some great things. Ahead of you. You know, at some point I'm like, who could have thought maybe one day I'll, I'll be a person who'll be on air. I never even thought mm -hmm. something like that. I never even saw something like that in my entire life. Mm -hmm. But today, I'm so privileged to be seated before people also, people watch me out there. And it's just amazing. And I want to thank someone. Okay, his, his, his name is Brian. He has been so pushy. I, I, I know I've not known him for so long, but he's always very supportive. He's just, I know he's just around. And he's always so supportive even to look up, be on the lookout to give me these opportunities. I'm so grateful to him. And with his uh, Fanikisha uh, movement, I, I know they are always supportive in everything that they are doing. Mm -hmm. So I always, I always encourage any girl or any woman, when you feel like it's the end of you, or when you feel like you don't want to continue in whatever you are doing, do not give up. Because ahead of you, there are so many things that maybe you won't even imagine. Because when you believe in God, I always say that always be a prayerful person. Mm -hmm. And that is the most thing that I do on my knees, always. Always on your knees. Always on my knees. Because without that, I wouldn't be even be where I am today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. We, we, we celebrate you really because <laughs> you are a strong woman. Yeah. And you need, if that's something to be proud of, for someone who is, who is in the position that you are in some time back and yeah. you're giving up and, yeah. you know, someone who's suicidal too, yeah. what would you tell them? I would tell them to not give up. Try and get someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. Because I remember at some point when I was, uh, going through such, uh, I had to get a woman, she's late right now, and uh, she talked to me a lot. Mm -hmm. She took me like her own child, and she was always listening to me. She could tell me, anytime you feel like you want to do something bad, take your phone, call me. Mm -hmm. Cry if you want to cry. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell someone, if you feel in, you, are, you are in the corner whereby you feel like you want to do something crazy or something bad, always look for someone whereby, you know, you c there's some people you won't be free to everyone, mm -hmm. but maybe there's always one person whereby you, you have that one person, you, are tre you treasure all you love or you want to, you are friends with, mm -hmm. always talk to them, okay. always listen to them. And when you feel like you want, you are, it's the end of time, just be on your knees, pray. Mm -hmm. Something great will happen. Something great will happen. Look sure. at you now, you know. You are a living testament to I that. I am, I am. Mm. <laughs> and now, uh, what is, for someone who wants to get into modeling and b being a pageant, yeah. uh, what does it take for a young girl? Oh, you just be on your toes. Like, learn to walk on your heels, watch a lot of uh, modeling, like mostly out of the country. Like, mm -hmm. I, I was always uh, envy about uh, Megan Young. He's, she's... Um, a model she was miss world 2013 mm -hmm. she was she came from a very humble background and even for her winning the title mm -hmm. she never saw it coming and um i would tell someone that always work hard believe in yourself don't give up keep pushing because whatever when you, when you you know you want something you always go for it mm -hmm. so work hard walk on your heels alone in the house uh -huh. Uh, go upstairs, or maybe uh, if you, if you, in your building you have a rooftop. That's where I used to train most of the time. <laughs> just do it. Try you just work. Understand. Yeah, work. It uh. doesn't matter. You're not supposed to start with six inch or seven inch. Start, start with, with even, two even yeah, exactly. Uh. Walk straight. Just learn to walk. That's uh. the most important thing. And Amazing. have confidence. Amazing. Yeah. But some people have this stereotype or bias that to, to win a pageantry, you have to be light skin, you have to I look know. a certain way. I know. Are these some of the challenges that are there and how true or untrue is this? At some point, I thought so. Mm. But let me tell you, even when I was competing or maybe when I was in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a different page and that was Miss Kambo, I was representing Kambo County. Mm -hmm. I remember then when we were doing our first auditions, we were 80, 80 girls. Mm -hmm. And the audition was just next year, um, Kenya National Theater. Mm -hmm. And out of 80 girls, they were, some of them were taller than me. They were light skinned. Me, I'm dark skinned. Yeah. They were, they were taller, they were mm -hmm. even slimmer than I am. And I'm telling you at some point, is, at some point, 
that was true, but it's not true. It's ma what matters, what the judges looks, by the way, mm -hmm. your confidence. Confidence is everything. Confidence is everything. Your work. Mm -hmm. what, what do you do? Like, when you are on that stage, or maybe when, because there is always a Q&A, how confident are you? Mm -hmm. And you're not also, most of the uh, judges look, um, you're not supposed to be repeating yourself, especially when you're asked a question. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, don't, start, don't even start thinking. Just, I don't know. That matters a lot. Okay. Don't think during that time. Just say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Like, I remember uh -huh. when I was doing the, the Miss Campbell County audition, mm -hmm. I was asked about the um, vice president of Uganda. And I didn't know. <laughs> and then I was lie about it. I can't lie about it because I don't. And I never <laughs> saw it coming. I just saw the judge. I don't know. <laughs> just like I don't know. <laughs> so don't repeat yourself or start thinking. I was just saying, um, um, no, that is very wrong. Just be honest. Just be honest. I don't know all I know. Are there some qualities that are also expected of a pageant? Yes, there's some qualities also. Mm -hmm. Like uh, most of the time they look uh, for size eight or maybe someone who is uh, taller but, but I, I can say at some point right now they don't they don't look for such nowadays mm -hmm. they don't look for such what, what like, about uh, character yeah you have to be someone who is not rude mm -hmm. especially like on a training when you're when you're doing a training you have to be a person who is decent when you're told something don't be a person who like i can't do it don't mm -hmm. even be rude to any judge or any any coach that is very wrong because they look at your attitude or how you behave in, in public or mm -hmm. before people. And once they see you are, you are a rude person, or you are not even a person who listen. Mm -hmm. you are dis that is a disqualification by the way. Okay. Yeah. All right. As we come to a close <laughs> on this, Darkest, tell us um, what, what word would you leave to the people watching you and need some encouragement in this area or in life you know because you're miss humanity after yeah, all yeah. so what what word would you have for them this is your camera okay um i'll say that whenever you want something always go for it mm -hmm. and when, whenever you feel like you want to give up don't lose hope always be passionate about everything always be a prayerful person when it comes to something great when mm -hmm. you always pray to god great things happen do not lose hope and if you want to become a model work hard work hard always be on your toes do not lose hope and always watch the most um outside pageant like from south africa they they, they teach a lot of things you watch them and walk on your heels just train yourself and be passionate do not lose hope be passionate do not lose hope thank yeah. you very much what mm. is your social handle my social handle is dirty scary that is facebook and our uh, Instagram is Doris Curry 748. Okay, thank yeah. you very much for mm -hmm. gracing us with uh, the interview. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have you. And we wish you the best as you go for the competition in uh, Nigeria come uh, October. Represent us to the best of your ability. We are behind you. Thank you so much for having me this morning. Welcome. Yeah. So that has been Dorka Swangari. She is Miss Humanity Africa 2022 Kenya, who will be going to represent uh, our country in Nigeria come October. She's also uh, Miss Kiambu County, first runners up among many other accolades that she holds. And today we are celebrating her strength from you know rising up from where she could she was from a mm -hmm. humble background to holding a, a big title and giving back to the community still holding a dream to changing the world to just bring people to create a home for the homeless and uh, give food to those that lack something up there that is Dorcas and we are celebrating her today this has been strength of a woman we'll be taking a short break and then we'll be back with WCW where Kalami Val has an interesting conversation for you you participate in our conversation of the day parlay facebook where we've asked you a question you know you have to go and check out for yourself the hashtag to use is wcw at y254 channel